वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम इलेवन डैश फोर्टी एट सो स्टेटमेंट इज सिलेक्ट द लाइटेस्ट वेट स्टील वाइट फ्लेंज ओवर हैंगिंग बीम फ्राम अपेंडिक्स बी दैट विल सेफली सपोर्ट द लोडिंग इज्यूम द सपोर्ट एट ए इज पिन एंड द सपोर्ट एट बी इज रोलर द अलावेबल बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस इज ट्वेंटी फोर के एस आई एंड अलावेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन के एस आई सो दिस इज ओवर हैंगिंग बीम एंड दैट इज हैविंग रोलर सपोर्ट एट बी एंड Uh, pin support at A and the loading at this point and this points are two kips each. Clear? So you have to find the lightest weight steel white flange beam, which 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 will support this load safely. So let's start with the solution. So first step is that if uh, if you remove this support at point B, so definitely you will be having reaction force which will be in upward direction and that is R B. And if you remove this support at point a so you will be having a reaction force that will be downward which is r a why this force is downward clear so this will be upward so in order to keep it in equilibrium this should be downward so we will apply the equilibrium condition that sum of sum of all moments about point b must be equal to zero and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point b one moment is r into perpendicular distance is 8 feet and that is counter clockwise so it will be plus so i will write 8 times r a the second moment is due to this load which is 2 kips and perpendicular distance is 2 feet and that is clockwise so it will be negative so i will be write minus 2 into 2 and the third moment due about point b is due to this load and perpendicular distance is 6 feet and that is also clockwise so it will be negative so i will write minus 2 into 6 is equal to 0 so 8 r a minus 4 minus 12 is equal to 0 so r a is equal to 16 divided by 8 which is equal to 2 kips so what we have now we have r a is 2 kips similarly we will apply second equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force are taken as positive so one force minus r a plus r b minus 2 minus 2 will be equal to 0 so r a is 2 so minus 2 plus r b Minus two minus two is equal to zero. So from here, you will get R B is equal to six k. Now you have R A and R B. So we know that uh, uh, section modulus. As we are going to select the uh, lightest wide flange beam, so we know that required section modulus is equal to maximum. bending moment divided by allowable stress so we will need this maximum bending moment uh, for getting this required uh, uh, section modulus so what we will do is that we will draw vertical lines from the end of this beam here and similarly from this end and there is a horizontal line which will use to show the x in feet here will be having shear force in kip let each division is equal to 2 so 2 2 4 kips similarly minus 2 kips now you can see that here at this point r a v have r a is minus 2 so we will have first point will be this one clear now moving from point a till point b there is no other force so it will remain same so this will remain same till this point clear now you have a load of rb which is equal to 6 kip clear so minus 2 plus 6 will equal to 4 so shear force will change to 4 at this point so this is 4 kips and again from this load till 
the application of this load this will be same now here you can see you have a minus 2 so 4 minus 2 will bring it to 2 so shear force will change to 2 and again this will remain same till last and at the end you can see you have minus 2 which will bring it to 0 so this is your shear force diagram now we'll draw the bending moment diagram so for bending moment diagram i have to take a horizontal line clear let this is the horizontal line which x in feet and here you will be having moment kips into feet let each division is equal to um, uh, 8 you can take as per your own minus 8 minus 16 minus 24 etc so we will plot first point at point a we have moment is equal to zero because x is equal to zero and area under the shear force diagram this area is equal to minus 2 into length is 8 feet you can see that is equal to minus 16 so first uh, or the length of 8 feet we have minus 16 so minus 16 this is the length and we have this is minus 16 and you can see that shear force is a horizontal line with this area negative so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be increasing so it will be a straight line okay the second area under the shear force diagram is this area which is equal to 4 into this length is 2 so it is 8 so minus 16 plus 8 will be equal to minus 8 so here the moment will be minus eight this point this is minus eight and you can see that shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree slope uh, slope is with a zero degree there so uh, an area is also positive so bending moment will be a straight line and slope will be increasing okay and the last area is this area which is again you can see this is 2 into length is 4 which is equal to 8 so minus 8 plus 8 will bring it to 0 at this point so we will get the bending moment like this so this is your shear force diagram and this is your bending moment diagram now from bending moment diagram clear absolute maximum value of bending moment will be you can see this is minus 16 so minus 16 will be equal to 16 kips into feet okay so this is the maximum bending moment okay now you have you will put the value in this formula so s required is equal to maximum bending moment which is 16 kips into feet so in order to convert it into inch so 16 into 12 and the unit will be kips into inch divided by allowable bending stress which is 24 ksi so 24 so this will be equal to 8 cubic inch required is 8 cubic inch now you have to go to appendix b of the book clear so we will move to appendix b of the book uh, this is white flange beam and you have to check eight so eight this is the series of you can see your oh, wait a minute okay so here you can see this is s so you can go downward and you can check the value which is near to 8 so there is no other value 8 8 okay so here you can see there is no value now this value which is 10.9 is closest to 8 so we will select this w10 by 
12. We will also note the depth of this beam and thickness of web. We will note this and we will move back to the, uh, this is SX value, section modulus. So we will move back, we will note down this value um, from, append, from appendix B, we select we select W 10 by 12 so its depth was 9.87 inch clear thickness of web was 0 0.190 inch and SX was 110.9 cubic inch clear so we will also check whether this uh, beam satisfy the shear stress or not. So check shear stress. So we know that uh, maximum shearing stress is equal to V max divided by uh, area of web there. So maximum shearing stress you can see here is four. So four divided by area of web is thickness of web into depth. So four divided by 0 0.190 multiplied by 9.87. Okay, clear. So when you solve this, you will get maximum sharing stress comes out to be 2.13 KSI. Now this maximum sharing stress, you can see 2.13 KSI is less than 14 KSI, which is less than allowable. And allowable was 14 KSI, while tau max is 2.13 KSI. So what does it mean? It means that... Uh, we select w10 by 12 wide flange steel beam that will simply support the loading as shown clear and this was all about problem 11-48. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel, then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video. If you have any question, do ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.